Hello, welcome, beautiful Leo Virgo Cusp. Those that were born August the 19th through the 25th, you are considered a Leo Virgo Cusp. If you are dealing with a Leo Virgo Cusp, hello, welcome to my channel. I am T. Erica Love. I am T. Erica, and I am all about love here on my channel, okay? Uh, my mission here is to teach myself and others how to love unconditionally to help bring lost souls back to where you started which was in the heavens being created by the highest power which is God to send love, light, and positivity while trying to improve thought patterns to manifest the love of our life while wishing everyone beautiful relationships that forms into blissfully happy marriages so yes y'all uh, I do have a mission when I come here um, and give you all these messages. And I greatly appreciate um, the ones that are stopping by, okay? Hey, y'all. Welcome again. Um, so, as you all know, it is. We are in a Mercury retrograde cycle. It started September the 7th. It's going to go all the way up until around October 23rd, all right? So, please remain flexible, patient, and understanding. Allow extra time for travel and avoid signing onto any new contracts that you are unsure of. Review projects and plans at this time, but wait until Mercury is direct again to make any final decisions. You can't stop your life, but please plan ahead. Have backup plans and be prepared for people short of fuse and miscommunication, okay? So that's just, you know some advice here during this time okay all right so leo virgo cusp this is a cusp here this cusp command is all about command meets caution passion meets perfectionism and fire meet earth cusp of leadership okay and communication but also one of independence and secrecy a major skill set is knowing exactly what to say at the right time can be wonderfully persuasive. Sun and Mercury ruled. Sometimes your desire to keep things to yourself makes those around you feel alone. And that is not what you all be wanting, okay? So, I guess try to express yourself. Open up yourself a little bit to uh, the right ones, okay? The right person or the right individuals. All right. So with all that being said, uh, Leo Virgo Cups, please know, or cross watchers, please know that these will be general messages, okay? They will not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals, all right? Um, if you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate, please leave them here on the table uh, for someone that it will resonate with, okay? All right, so now let's look into seeing here, okay? Oh, you already got three here. How are you all viewing this love connection at this time, all right? How are you viewing um, the connection between you and your love interest at this time? Okay, you have two hearts here. Um, but that is like it's in a maze here. So maybe... Um, you're trying to figure out how to get to your person's heart here, okay? Uh, maybe there's some detours here. Maybe, you know, um, trying to figure out the right direction to go in here to win your person's heart, okay? Also here, we have a feminine energy here. You have a horse. You have a house here that seems to be caught on fire um you have fire here this feminine energy here is trying to stop some type of mass destruction okay the horse is running away from um fear um just in a frantic type of motion here okay or a frantic type of running all right but someone is trying to diffuse uh the situation here okay so, hmm. all right, and you have here this lovely, 
feminine energy here she is in love with animals okay i'm getting here this person here someone in this connection could really have this love joy and um excitement here towards animals okay um this is someone yeah who has a, a special heart here because uh you know y'all i have a sister she loves animals more than she loves people she really do and so maybe um you're dealing or your person could be this way here all right maybe you could be an animal rescuer rescuer you are your person i don't know <laughs> okay all right so now let's see um let's see if we can look into seeing um tell us about your person leo virgo cusp tell us about their love interest here all right we have one here let's give us one more please okay oh that's too many y'all all right, we're going to take them here. Okay, so you have Jupiter here. All right, so uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. All right. Uh, for some, you have Libra here. All right, so you could be dealing, for, for some, you could be dealing with a Libra. All right, someone who, um, or someone who have, because Libra is ruled by Venus. So someone who is not afraid to express their love. You could be dealing with someone who actually has a lot of love here. With this Jupiter here, it's all about expansion, expansion and opportunity. Okay. And you have Aries here. So some of you all could be dealing with a Aries as well. All right. Oh. Okay. So let me see. We're gonna see. Let me put Jupiter with Libra and see what it says. Da -da 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 -da. Jupiter with Libra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I did have 40 pages. Oh, there we go. Okay. So Jupiter and Libra, this is um, someone that accepts leadership with grace here. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone in a leadership role. We'll do uh, Jupiter with Aries. This is someone who enjoys personal expansion and empowerment. Okay, all right. Okay, and now let's get some characteristics here of this of your love interest. Give me some characteristics here of Leo Virgo Cusp, your love interest. This person that was born August 19th through the 25th, give us some characteristics here. All right, you have victim here. So your person um, could have been through some things, okay? Um, maybe been hurt in the past here, okay, for some. All right. Uh, maybe you have someone who could be possibly playing a victim or maybe trying to hide hurt and pain here, okay? Maybe they could have got um, maybe burnt in the crossfire. I don't know, all right? So maybe something that happened in the past that was a very uh, detrimental here and within your person that could be still needing to heal from that, all right? Let's see. Characteristics here. Okay, you have reunion here. All right, so you could be dealing with someone who is wanting to return back to you. Your love interest here could be someone who is wanting to return. Okay. Let's see, you have the wizard here. Okay. So, um, I don't know, it could be an age difference here between you two. Maybe a person could be a little older than you. This wizard here is like the magician in reverse, okay? So, this is someone who is very witty here. It's like Aries energy, okay? Could use their um, wits and their power um, to manipulate here, okay? I'm trying to create something, but maybe... The what they are trying to create here, maybe not, uh, maybe 
it's not full of a lot of light here okay it's look a little sad the colors here look a little gloomy here all right so your person could be going through some things that they are needing to heal from okay now let's get the overall energy here of your person in regards to this connection okay i need a person what is the overall energy here of the overall because love interest in regards to this connection and from here you all we're going to get you all the angel message okay so let's see overall energy of the Virgo cusp love interest here all right have spiritual strength here okay so your person here is trying to gather up some spiritual strength here all right their overall energy could be um, they are hoping that you can help them to um, be more, be stronger spiritually here. All right, let's get you all a message here. A spiritual message here. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so the number nine, this says a universal love, eternity. Faith, the concept of karma, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual awakening, service to humanity, and light working here. All right. So uh, this is all about you all accepting universal love, um, having faith here. Know that this you could be going through a cycle is a concept of karma. So becoming more spiritually enlightened here. All right. So that is that. Right. The healing energy I feel here uh, that your person is going through, okay? All right, so we're going to clarify. <clears throat> we're going to clarify here your person's uh, overall energy in regards to the connection. Clarify. Thank you. Okay. All right, I brought in your horizons here, okay? So maybe your person is afraid here to explore new landscapes all right maybe a person um could be stagnant okay at this time due to some healing that needs to take place all right um they need to open their stuff up to new experiences okay maybe a person is needing to move like physically and make a move here out of a situation or move towards um you know, mentally moving towards something, spiritually moving towards something new. Okay. All right. Now let's see how how's your person, Leo Virgo, because how's this how your love interest feeling about you? Okay. From now to you know in the next four weeks. All right. So you have I know you are not like the others. I know this is not the same. I've been reflecting on this in the stillness and the silence. So your person, um, in the next four weeks, they're going to realize here that you're not like the others, okay? Oh, that's so many. All right. So you are everything I have ever wanted. I feel like I've messed it up. I'm not sure how to fix it, all right? So that's how your person's going to be feeling from now until um, four weeks, okay? You got here, plain and simple. I know you are my person. I just don't know where that goes or exactly what it means. I do want to move forward. I do want to move toward you, all right? So they're realizing here that you are their person. And just with this maze here, it's a difficult time, okay? And you have until you come... Until you can come to me with your whole self, your authentic self, I'm focusing on my work and career right now. I'm focusing on other things, all right? So um, they're going to focus on healing, focus on other things, all right? Until, maybe until you forgive them here. Mm. All right. So let's look into seeing um, some... Uh, Obstacles, hopes, and dreams here for your person. Okay. So, we got Carla's here. So, maybe your person is dealing with uh, car issues here. Okay. Um, let's see at this time. What are some things that is hindering Leo Virgo because love interest? 
fed up here. So they're fed up there and in this energy of like that fire there. Okay. Of almost you know, not being able to take it anymore. Could be mentally here. Alright, so they're fed up, alright? Now let's see. Let's get one more. And they feel like they wasting time or they could be stuck here. Stuck in some type of energy, stuck in some type of situation. Um, could be limited here, physically limited, uh, mentally limited, spiritually limited here. Okay. All right. So now let's look into the recent past here between you and this person. Looking to see what's going on now. Excuse me, I'm hungry. <laughs> and within the next four weeks here, between you and your love interest. Oh, jump, y'all. Oh, jump, oh, jump. Okay. So, recent past here, you have high honor. Okay. Receiving some type of recognition here. So in this connection, maybe you realize here that this person is who you want. Um, they're all you ever wanted here. You was ready to celebrate something here with this person. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So with that being uh, the number seven, you all. In the recent past in this connection, we're going to we're going to say that maybe someone was doing some reflecting here. Could have been overthinking here, okay? Wanted to gather up some more knowledge here in this connection, okay? Wanted to know a bit more, okay? Now, the situation now, you have gift. This is the number eight. So you could be receiving a gift of some sort. We're going to clarify here. <coughs> All right. But on the outskirts of things here until we clarify. Um, this gift with it being number eight. This is somebody is putting some action towards um, you or this person. Okay. You're wanting to offer this person some type of gift here. Okay. We're going to see what that is. All right. And within the next four weeks, you have unexpected income. All right. So something is going to come in unexpectedly. Could be your pentacles. Um, that is the number nine here. So we could also say that you're going to uh, fulfill some wishes is going to be fulfilled within the next uh, four weeks. You're going to attain some uh, something unexpected. Okay. All right. So now let's clarify here um, with the tarot. Okay. Now in the recent past, let's clarify this high honor, please. All right. Got two that came out there. And we're going to go ahead and out. Let's clarify the gift, please. Oh, goodness. And let's clarify the next four weeks. Oh, let's peek in. Gosh. All right. So, in the recent past, you guys, with that here. All right. So, in regards to somebody wanting to. Um, gain some knowledge here. Someone was doing some overthinking here within this connection. Got the seven of wands and the moon. So someone was very defensive here, going through some challenges with within this connection. Um, there was some secrets here. Someone was confused here within this connection. Okay, we're going to um, look more into this seven of wands. All right. Could be dealing with a Leo, all right, or um, Pisces. I'm sorry, it's just a Cancer energy, okay? So. Okay, so wait, y'all. Right, Cancer energy, okay? So, with this Seven of Wands in the past connection, someone was confused here. Could have been unreliable. All right, they were 
trapped in a certain type of situation or feeling trapped here all right so there could have not been uh, um maybe this person was not recognizing the high honor within you okay all right due to some confusions your person being caught up in a certain illusions here okay so now with the um, now situation now is gift, okay? Clarifying this is the Eight of Wands. Could be dealing with a Gemini for some of you all. All right, but someone is feeling mentally entrapped here, feeling um, a lot of anxiety in regards to this gift here. Um, okay, so we're going to clarify uh, first. With that being, all right, so this fear and anxiety could be in regards to maybe someone was not put in no action towards, okay? Your person was not put in action, this and now. Person is not putting any action towards this situation or the connection due to them going through some things mentally, okay? Also here... Um, this being the Eight of Swords, your person could be maybe a workaholic, uh, going through some challenges, need to maybe dealing with some type of conflict here in their relationships or past relationship. They need to step back, need to take a break. Uh, your person is doing a lot of stressing or someone in this connection is doing a lot of stressing here. That's two eights. Okay, so 8 and 8 is 16, which is number 7. All right, so that is breaks back down to confusion on um, someone being maybe unreliable. Okay, all right, all right. Now, um, within the next four weeks here, okay, you have unexpected income that's clarified by the star. For some, you could be dealing with an Aquarius here. All right. You could be unexpectedly meeting an Aquarius here. All right. But someone is going to receive here maybe some hope here. Have faith. Okay. Be optimistic. Maybe um, you're going to allow. Someone is going to allow this, you know, uh, gain more strength here spiritually within this connection. Okay. All right. So, um, Okay, so something good is coming within the next four weeks, you all. Um, and it could be spiritually here or materially here. Um, okay, through your finances, all right? All right. Could be um, if you could be meeting in Aquarius, okay? And I don't know. All right. All right. Now, let's take more looks here. Let's see, um, what message do we have for the recent past here? That's, okay, recent past here in this connection. You got addictions here. So someone is dealing with some type of addictions here in this connection, okay? Now the situation now, you have unrequited love, all right? So it's a mental stress here. It's fear, it's anxiety, okay? All right, now, within the next four weeks, you have regret here. So someone is going to be feeling regretful here within this connection, okay? All right, now, who or what is coming towards this connection within the next four weeks? You have control tactics. Uh, to me, this is like uh, Capricorn energy to me, okay? So maybe someone um, is... Someone is maybe going to take control of the situation, take control of yourself and not allow things to um, control you or issues a situation. Maybe you're not going to, if there's a masculine energy here <laughs> within the next four weeks, hopefully you're not going to allow, you know, the feminine energy to keep uh, gaining control over you or having this control over you, okay? Um, maybe you're going to have to work through uh, certain 
control tactics or have have ways to come out of being controlled or being controlling okay so you have ace here so um you could be meeting or it could be a leo aries or sagittarius coming towards you it could be a lot of fashion here i mean fashion all right somebody could be very fashionable um <laughs> maybe new passion new beginnings here starting okay all right oh goodness okay you have autumn here so in the fall something is going to start to harvest here all right and you have chemistry so passion so could be a lot of sexual energy here or a lot of um you know uh, sex that you are going to be having within the next four weeks okay all right now let's get some confessions here for you all let's see all right, so you have, I have commitment issues, all right? So your person wants you to know they have commitment issues. I realize that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? That's not regretful. So within the next four weeks or before these four weeks is over, your person is going to really be, great, be regretting some things, um, realizing some things here. They want to know, is it too late? I don't know. Okay. All right, now let's see. Let's get you all some messages from here. Um, acceptance. Accepting the fact that everything happens for a reason. So you have strictly sexual. So this connection is passionate but not enduring. So there is a lot of um, uh, passionate energy here between you two. Okay, but uh, maybe. The building on the emotional and spiritual and mental aspect of a connection or the connection need to, you know, get stronger there. All right. You have time apart. So some distance will help bring clarity. Okay. And let's see. Y'all didn't get the other one. Right, you got awakening. So both people in this connection are undergoing a spiritual transformation. All right, so uh, within the next four weeks, just be gentle, kind to yourself, to your person here. And uh, yeah. All right, y'all. So we're going to get some quotes and phrases. My favorite, almost my favorite part of the messages here. We're going to get some quotes and phrases. These are going to help us to work the mental in regards to our love connections, okay? Going to throw out maybe some advice will be here. Maybe some things for you to work on within the next four weeks will be here, all right? So, let's see. We have self-reliance means actively pursuing your interest, your interest here. All right, so being reliant on self means to actively, you're going to actively be pursuing your interests, okay? Because, oh, oh, so they could be mean, meaning, maybe I'm getting two things from that. It's okay to be selfish, all right, self-reliant, because you want to be self-reliant, all right? You don't want to have to rely on another human being another person all right so in that way you will be actively pursuing your what makes you happy all right all right so all cats are gray in the dark all cats are gray in the dark I kind of don't get that one because in the dark wouldn't it be black so Oh, maybe if you're in the dark about a situation or what's going on, you can't, you're not seeing what's in black and white. Okay, it is gray. It's gray area. Oh, okay. A lot of these things, y'all, when I read and I sit here and read this with you all, it comes to me. Okay, so, some of it. All right, so there is a skeleton in every closet, but bones are a frame here. Oh, so you can put the skeletons in the closet or try to hide the skeletons in the closet. But the bone is the frame, which means it's going to come to light, which means the foundation 
But the skeleton is still there. Okay, so we can't hide what is ultimately the foundation. Okay, what is still there. All right. So we got here, make fair agreements and stick to them. Okay, so make fair agreements and stick to them. All right. As the tree, so the wood. That's an analogy. All right. So as the tree, so the wood. So there would be no tree if you didn't have the wood or maybe you need the tree in order to get the wood to build the foundation. Wow. Okay. I love it. Okay. Now, if someone wants to offend you badly, then it is even worse for them. All right. So this is. Okay. We got to be careful what we say to people because our words is going to ricochet and come back to us all right i have learned a lot of things when i come here i have learned these the hard way i am a very <coughs> excuse me i have i used to be a very hard-headed individual i mean very so i didn't listen to what nobody said i had to go through it myself trials and tribulations and it landed me here very beautiful peaceful place that i try to remain in mentally spiritually and all that because i have been through hell and back okay so and my mouth, my mouth is, it was off the chain, all right? So, you want to be careful what you say to others because it will ricochet, come back to you. Um, also, if someone speaks to you in a bad, harsh, disrespectful way, don't give them verbally what they're giving you. Don't give it back to them physically, okay? That way, you will come out on top and they only going to get bad what they dished out okay so keep that in mind all right and um the last one here it feels good to give back to people who support you all right so remember those the ones that support you along the way uh, and um give back okay all right now let's get some advice here for your love interests you got be fucking grateful, okay? She could be so much worse. So this is telling your person to be grateful. And uh, advice for you. Get the F out of your head and get into your heart. It misses you. So your heart misses you, okay? So get into your heart in the next four weeks, okay? All right. Now let's get a healing message for the viewer. Let's get a healing message for the viewer, please. Two came out. I don't want to. We get the one that fell on the table. All right. So you got addictions again. Okay. Compassion. All right. So this situation is influenced by an addictive behavior that is influencing you or the person involved. Pain and trauma are being projected. Try to see the truth of the situation by stepping outside of the chaos to create an opening for forgiveness, patience, and compassion. Okay. All right, so Leo Virgo, cuz cross watchers, these are your messages. I hope that they will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. Y'all send it all back to me so uh, we can just keep each other uplifted. All right, and um, if these messages resonate, please give me a thumbs up. If um, you would like to receive the messages more frequently, please hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to say something, comment. Um, all right. And y'all know what? I love y'all so much. And I will see you all next time. Bye.